Okay, so you pretty much walk with my cane by there. You could walk two ways. You could walk by gliding or hopping, and you do it opposite of every foot pretty much. So if I take a step, my cane's going to be on the opposite side, seeing what this foot is going to be seeing. So it pretty much makes sure that I'm not going to trip on anything or anything is in my way pretty much. So when I'm around my neighborhood, my um, my driveway is the only driveway that has brick on the side. So I know that whenever there is the brick, I know, oh, hey, it's my driveway. I also count driveways to make sure that 100% sure. So let's go for a walk. So to keep myself straight, oh, there's a driveway. So there's no grass, so I know that there's a driveway. So I'll keep walking. And to keep myself straight, I guide myself with the traffic to make sure that I know when to go so I hear a car coming and it just went right past on the other side so now I'm listening for cars going this way and I don't hear anybody so I pretty safe to go hope for the best <laughs> and then staying straight is also interesting <laughs> and then another turn to my house. So it's really scary for someone who's blind or visually impaired to cross a street because there are people texting nowadays and they're not paying any attention to what is going on. Man, my hair is crazy. Um, so they're not paying any attention to what is going on. They're doing other things while they're driving. They're just not paying attention, which they need to pay attention. And obviously, my cane shows that I cannot see and that I'm visually impaired. So it does give people a warning that they need to be more careful, which they should always be careful. But it's just very stressful when you hear a bunch of cars and you don't see what's going on. It's just like anxiety overload. <laughs> like this which is super crowded and always busy so this is awesome that it has this it makes me feel safe although I do do mobility and orientation and I know how to cross a road without this this just makes me feel more safe so yeah it is verbally telling me to wait ready say wait 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 <laughs> it's verbally telling me to wait and then it'll do a 20 second countdown to get across the road and then it'll wait. do beeps really fast when the lights come to change Walk sign is on and cross southbound. Walk sign is yeah. on and cross. So now it's telling me that it's safe for me to walk across. So here we go. 13, 12, 13 12, 12, 3, 2, 2 1, 0. So now beeps really fast. That means you better get across the road or you're going to die. <laughs> when it's doing a 20 second countdown, that's how you know it's safe to cross. But when it's making this noise, the boop, 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 that's not safe. And then. Wait. Wait, which means that you have to wait until it does the 20 second countdown. So now we're waiting. This is a super busy intersection and there is always cars everywhere. It's always crazy. So this is amazing to have, especially here. Four, three, two, one, zero. 